the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends so in today's lecture we'll be seeing about the roles in EC2 we have actually seen about the roles and policies in the IAM identity access management we have seen where the role actually comes in the policy comes in the role is like you, know, you take a role and then that role gets assumed a policy is for a, you know we also see that saw the difference between a policy and a role so in this lecture we'll be seeing about the roles in EC2 and where it is actually used okay so let's take a deep dive say friends <clears throat> so today is like in you know, a chapter 10 uh, in our AWS so what did we see in the previous chapter we actually created an ec2 instance and uh, configured the security groups and uh, you know without failing i terminated the instance because i told you it was going to cost me i mean do you guys remember that so in today's in in today's lecture it will be a continuation once again i'll be creating an ec2 instance so this is like you know how to create a role uh, you know in in you know how to create a role and how to actually attach the role to the ec2 instance so we will be also having a hands-on demo in today's session. So be hanging there. If you know the IAM, the identity access management, we actually created the identity access management before and we also have a recorded session about the same. Okay, kindly have a look into it, you know, just familiarize. But if not, you know, also, you know, look, listen to this lecture and, you know, just get the grasp of it and then we can actually, you know, go in a, into a deep dive. So first of all, what is an IAM role? And um, you know, the roles are basically temporary. So you know, what is your role? So let's actually take a philosophical look, right? Whatever role that you may actually play, in, you know, play in your life, okay? Uh, it has gone to, it has got a time limit. Whether you are going to be, uh, you know, a son, um, you know, a husband, anything you know uh, nothing is actually permanent okay so roles are temporary or if you actually go on a lighter note in the film every actor takes a role okay so they become the role in the part of the film or the tv serial okay and the moment it is actually over they actually change the role it is very similar to this concept okay so let's see what the roles can do and let's see what we're going to do in the console demo so a role is an identity this is exactly what i told you that you can actually create in the identity access management it has specific permissions okay uh, so it is basically similar to that of a an user and uh, you know you can actually determine what kind of policy they need to have or how do i actually say if you're a father you take a lot more responsibility as compared to a husband or as compared to a son Okay, there are responsibilities there in every in every part, but you know it is just slightly differs. Okay, uh, so as a father, you can't act like a son, and vice versa. Okay, so or if you are a hero of a film or a, or the main character of the film, you you know that is that is your part. Okay, you know that is you know that is a permission that you actually take and a policy. Okay, so. Instead of being uniquely associated with one person, we can also associate the role by anyone who needs it. Or in other words, you can actually associate the role to the entire group. How do I actually say this? In a film industry, okay, there is a there is a role called friends, okay, which is probably you know people are actually abusing it or probably they don't even realize. But friends play a very important part and we actually take in a good number of friends. It's a bunch of friends who actually the role is friends. Or in film industry, if you see like, you know, if you watch the Indian movies, when when there's a dance, when there's a song, you will see like a group of dancers, you know, dancing behind the main characters, the hero and heroine, and they're called group dancers. So, you know, their role is called the group dancing. Okay, so the role is not only specific for one person, it can also be associated to a group all right the roles are temporary and this is exactly what i told you okay uh, you don't have a standard long-term credentials it is temporary okay uh, it gives you temporary credentials the roles can be assumed by people aws architecture or other system level accounts okay the roles can also allow cross account access Okay, this actually allows one AWS account the ability to actually, you know, interact with the other AWS account. 
Now, what are we going to be doing? We are going to be creating an IAM role. We are going to be creating an once once again EC2 instance. We are going to be creating a bucket and access to the bucket. Having said that, I have actually stored some commands here. Uh, so don't worry about it. We'll come to this. Let's actually go here. Let's actually go to my services and let me actually go to my IAM. So in the IAM, uh, the root user, blah, blah, blah. I, I have this bunch of a thing. I'm going to go, go to these roles. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be searching for um, I can create a role. When I say create a role, it is going to be for AWS service, AWS account, web identity, SAML, you know, uh, custom trust policy. So all these things are good important types. So don't be confused. Don't be bogged down. Just hang in there. I will definitely teach you each and everything. Okay. So we are going to be doing with an EC2 instance. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> is there any use case? Don't worry about it. There is nothing at this juncture. I'm going to say next. And I need for S3. <clears throat> so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to say S3. I'm going to say enter here because if you see there are a lot of roles here, right? I'm going to be saying policies here. I'm going to be saying S3. I want to have this S3 full access. So let me actually see what this full access is. Let me actually open this. There is a version number. This is a JSON program. Okay, in my Python, I'll also be covering JSON. And I think that JSON, I'm not sure whether it's going to be chapter 20 or 21, but something in that range. Okay, uh, we have this JSON. So in this JSON, if you see like, you know, this is the date they actually created. Remember this command here, E-A-R. Okay, remember your year. Effect, action resource is the most important thing the effect is you're actually allowing everything the action is star object lambda the resource is star which means for everything all right so if i actually close this i'm going to take this by this what i actually mean is give me the entire full access and that is what exactly this is okay so what I can do is, do I need to any set any boundary permission? I don't think so. I can say next. Uh, the role name, I can say like, you know, S3 um, underscore admin underscore access. Okay. Uh, so this is what it is. Access and I don't need, I'm going to create a role. So the role has been created. Okay. So this IAM part, the role has been created. All right. Are we good here so far? Fantastic. What I will do is next is the EC2. Let me go to the EC2. Let me launch an instance. And once again, like, you know, I, I will be terminating it. So once I say launch an instance. So the key pair, remember last time I actually created a key pair. Just see my EC2. I'm going to use the same key pair. So this key pair is there, everything is the same, everything is the same. The security group is all the same. Um, okay, configure all these things. Let me go to the advanced details. So the spot, instance recovery. So these things you guys have actually seen it in the previous one. I created this key pair. So the only thing is there must be an IAM role here. That is what I'm actually trying to see. So I'm not trying to waste your time here. Uh, there should be an IAM role. I don't want this launch instance. Um, the key pair login is here. If I'm going to select that existing, do I have an existing? Um, Okay, I don't want this. I don't want this. I can say create or even if I say select, I, I'm not going to select anything per se. 
I can I can go with this right now. This is not a thing. I can allow my HTTPS. I can allow my HTTP. This thing we also saw. I don't want an advanced this thing. I'm not going to be selecting this thing. Yeah, IAM instance profile. So in this IAM instance profile, right now I just created this S3 admin access. So see this S3 admin access. I have actually done that. Okay. Um, so let's all is the same. I'm going to be launching an instance. <clears throat> so the moment the instance is launched, I can actually go here. Okay, I can actually go here. So this is pending. So, you know, from the pending, it will say running. So the moment it is actually running, let's actually see. It might take some time, but that is okay. Um, I can refresh it, but you know, it has to come to running. Yeah, now it is running. See, it is instant quick. So the moment it is actually running, I can go to my connect. Okay, this is the easiest way to connect your EC2. EC2 as compared to you can also SSH so you should be knowing some kind of a Unix command at that time but this is we they actually made it a lot more easier just say connect and just use an EC2 connect EC2 user the public address is this you can do an SSH client which is that is the area where you use a Unix command but that is not necessary for us right now you can use it with this and I can say connect so in my connect is actually establishing my connection. So this also we saw. Now it is actually connected. Okay, so what I can do is I can say AWS S3, I can say list. It is going to list what all things that I have here, which you guys also know because you're seeing my videos quite often. So these are the buckets I have. So now let me go here. So what I want to do is I can make a bucket. Okay, I can make a bucket. And this bucket is not there. I can make a bucket. I can say AWS. Uh, it is MB, right? Yeah, AWS S3. I can say make a bucket. And I just want to make sure. Uh, yeah, I can, you know, S3. And I can say um, key what plus in it. Okay. So I can say enter. <coughs> make bucket failed the specified bucket is not valid and why is it not valid um, maybe because of the this thing I don't know let me actually see what I can do is AWS S3 make bucket I can go to S3 Let's see this. Yep, I think now it actually made a bucket. If I say AWS S3 now list. See this keyword present in this bucket is here. All right. So I've already made this bucket. So what I can do is in the same area, I can say echo. <clears throat> Let's actually try this. I can say echo. I can say hello world. Uh, and uh, I can say present in keyword.txt. This is made something and I think it's cat, right? Yeah, it's cat. So if I say cat press in, in keyword dot txt, I believe. Yeah, it has given me hello world because this is exactly cat is, you know, um, you look into the commands. So this part is here. Okay, so we have done this. We have connected. All these things are here. Very nice. So let's actually go to uh my instance my services let me go to s3 see here my keyword present is here the objects can be public i just created today and the date is here and if i actually open the properties metric uh object so in the bucket 
I just want to know where I actually uploaded. Uh, I can actually upload it here. Okay, yes, if I can actually, you know, I can actually upload my keyword precedent here dot txt as a hello world. Um, I'm not sure where it actually went, but it, sh it should have gone somewhere. But that is the idea. Okay, um, so that is the idea. Or let me actually try something here. Um, so AWS S3 list. I have this. Um, so I can say keyword person no such file or directory. Uh, All right, so this is the way you, you know, I, I'm actually trying to actually put it here, you know, uh, making a bucket, you know, we made it. So this is what. So what does this role do? Um, you know, so the role is, is a preferred option, uh, you know, from a security perspective, please avoid hard coding any kind of password or something. You can, you can use the access key or the secret access keys. The policy controls a role permissions, okay, and updates can be made, uh, you know, to your policy. You can attach and detach the roles to running EC2 instance without having to stop or terminate these instances. All right, so this is why the roles are used. Having said that, please try this, and if you have any questions, you know, feel free to contact me, uh, and I will actually try to explain to the best of my abilities. All right, so now I'm going to be terminating the instance. Uh, so I want to thank you for giving me your time. So till we see next time, you take care. Namaste friends. I trust you have actually seen my lecture on roles in EC2. Probably liked it. If you have any questions, kindly contact me. I'll actually try to help you to the best of my abilities. Um, you know, like always, I'd like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me a golden time. The other is my wife Jayashi following me to follow my passion. Till we see next time. Take care. <laughs>